Stop just getting by. If you understand the 80-20 rule, you can make more money without working harder. You can solve almost any conversion problem if you know how to look at the 80-20s in any scenario. Any trouble with traffic, any money problem. If you work in sales or marketing, focusing on the right 20% of your market will save you 80% of your time and money. By page 5, you'll know how to use 8202 and 8203 to get 10x or even 100x as much success. You can use the Pareto principle with powerful 8020 tools too. Get rid of time wasters. Find hidden ways to make money in your business. Advertise to people who are very likely to buy and avoid people who just look around. Get the top ranks on search engines. Set yourself apart from your competitors. Gain respect in the market. Famous marketing expert and best-selling author Perry Marshall made unique tools that show you exactly how much money you're leaving on the table and how to get it back. You can then reinvest the money to make your business even more successful. Perry Marshall's book, 8020 Sales and Marketing, The Definitive Guide to Working Less and Making More, is a complete guide to improving sales and marketing by focusing on the 80-20 rule. The book is split into six parts, and each one is about a different part of optimizing sales and marketing. First, we'll talk about the 80-20 rule. Chapter 1. The 80-20 Rule in Sales and Marketing This chapter shows what the 80-20 rule is, how it applies to sales and marketing, and how it can be used to get the best results for a business. The Power Curve, Part 2 This chapter looks at the power curve, which is a graphical representation of the 80-20 rule, and gives tips for finding the 20% of customers, goods, and activities that produce 80% of results. The 80-20 Way of Thinking this chapter talks about how important it is to have an 80-20 mindset and gives tips for focusing on the most important things, putting projects in order of importance, and getting the most done. Part 2. The 80-20 Marketing and Sales Strategies The 80-20 Rule for Customers This chapter talks about how important it is to find and focus on the top 20% of customers and gives tips on how to create effective strategies for getting customers and keeping them. The 80-20 Rule for Writing Copy This chapter talks about how important good writing is and gives tips on how to use the 80-20 Rule to improve writing and increase conversion rates. The 80-20 Rule for Advertising This chapter talks about how important it is to have good advertising and how to use the 80-20 Rule to improve advertising efforts and get the most out of your money. How to Sell the 80-20 Rule this chapter talks about how important it is to have good sales plans and how to use the 80-20 rule to improve sales and make more money. Part 3. The Tools and Strategies for 80-20 Chapter 8. The 80-20 Rule of Search Engine Marketing This chapter talks about the value of search engine marketing and gives tips on how to use the 80-20 rule to improve SEO and pay-per-click advertising. The 80-20 Rule for Email Marketing this chapter talks about how important email marketing is and gives tips on how to use the 80-20 rule to improve email marketing efforts and get more people to engage with them and buy from them. Chapter 10. How to Market on Social Media with the 80-20 Rule This chapter talks about how important social media marketing is and gives tips on how to use the 80-20 rule to get the most out of social media and get more followers, involvement, and sales. The 80-20 Rule for Building Websites This chapter talks about how important it is to have a well-designed website and gives tips on how to use the 80-20 Rule to improve website design and get more contact and sales. The 80-20 Rule for Getting Things Done This chapter talks about how important it is to be as productive as possible and gives tips on how to use the 80-20 Rule to improve time management, job prioritization, and workflow. Part 4. How the 80-20 Rule Works Case Studies on the 80-20 Rule This chapter gives examples of companies that have used the 80-20 Rule to improve their sales and marketing efforts. It shows how the best methods for each company were used. Part 5. The 80-20 Marketing and Sales Plan Chapter 14. The 80-20 Sales and Marketing Plan 
This chapter talks about how important it is to make an 80-20 sales and marketing plan and gives the step-by-step -step guide to making a plan that works and fits with business goals. Sixth part, the 80-20 way of life. The 80-20 way of thinking for life. This chapter talks about how important it is to have an 80-20 mindset in all parts of life and how to use the 80-20 rule to improve your personal and work life. In 80-20 Sales and Marketing, Perry Marshall gives a thorough explanation of how to use the 80-20 rule to improve sales and marketing. The book talks about everything from the power curve and the 80-20 rule to the strategies and tactics that can be used to improve sales and marketing. It also gives case studies and tips for putting an 80-20 sales and marketing plan into action. The author also talks about how important it is to have an 80-20 attitude in all parts of life and how the 80-20 rule can be used to improve personal and business outcomes. Thanks for watching our Amazon book review. If you found our review helpful and you're interested in checking it out for yourself, we've included a link to it in the description below. By clicking on that link, you'll not only get more details about it on Amazon, but also support our channel at no cost to you. So go ahead and click that link to grab your copy of the book and dive into an exciting reading journey. Happy reading and thanks for your support.